Hello students. Welcome to science class. Today we are studying the lesson Fiber to Fabric. You have variety of dresses in your cupboard. Have you ever thought about where these clothes are come from? And more specifically, how these clothes are made? Dear students, the clothes are made of fabrics and fabrics are made of fibers. A fiber is basically a string made of some material. Have you ever tried to thread a needle? Sometimes the end of the thread is separated into few thin strands. These thin strands are fibers. Let's see what are fabrics. Whenever you have visited a garment shop, you must have noticed bundle of clothes like this lined there. These are called fabrics. So now let's try to understand more about fabrics in detail. Whenever we look into a fabric, it looks like a continuous space, isn't it? But is fabric really a continuous piece? For this, I want you to take a closer look at any fabric piece in your home. What did you notice? You will observe that while from a distance, fabric looks like a continuous piece. But actually it is not. As you observe it more closely, you will notice that fabric is made up of two sets of strands arranged together in horizontal and vertical fashion. So, let's find out what these strands are. These strands are called as yarns or loose threads. You must have seen these yarns at some tailor shop or even at your home. To better understand yarns, try taking out a loose thread from any of the edges of the fabric piece. These loose threads are called as yarns. Thus, we can say fabric is made up of yarns arranged together. Now let's study more about yarns. What are yarns made up of? For this, scratch one end of the yarn which you took out from the fabric and observe it carefully. You will notice that the yarn splits into many thinner strands. These smaller and thin strands are called fibers. Thus we can say that yarns are made up of still thinner strands are called fibers. To that fabrics are made up of yarns and yarns are further made up of fibers. Or in other words we can say that several strands of fibers twisted together to make yarn and yarns are arranged together to make fabric. Now next question arises where do we get fibers from? On the basis of sources we obtain fibers from two sources that is natural fibers and synthetic fibers. We obtain natural fibers from plant fiber or animal fiber. Example for plant fiber, cotton, jute, flax. Example for animal fiber, silk, wool. Synthetic fibers are man-made fibers or artificial fibers. Examples are acrylic, nylon, polyester. Let's study about natural fibers. Natural fibers are obtained from nature. It can be classified into two types. Plant fibers and animal fibers. The fibers obtained from plants are called as plant fibers such as jute, cotton, cord, hemp and flax. And the fibers 
obtained from the animal sources are called as animal fibers such as wool and silk. We will now study about plant fibers in detail. Let's take cotton first. Cotton is mainly grown in black soil and warm climate. After maturing, cotton balls burst open. Cotton balls are then picked either manually with hand or with harvesting. Ginning Cotton picked from plants has seeds in it. Then, cotton fibers are separated from seeds by combing them. This process of separating cotton seeds from cotton fiber is called ginning. Ginning was traditionally done by hand. Nowadays, machines are used for ginning. Now we will study about another important plant fiber that is jute. Jute fiber is obtained from stem of the jute plant and grown in rainy season. The jute plant is harvested normally when it is in the flowering stage. The stems of the harvested plants are then bundled and immersed in water for few days until they start rotting. This process is called as retting. Then fibers are separated by hand from rotting them. This process is called as stripping. This is how jute fibers are extracted. Synthetic fiber or man-made fiber. Synthetic fibers are made by humans from chemical substances. They are not obtained from plants or animals such as nylon, acrylic, polyester and rayon. We already know that several strands of fibers twisted together to make yarn. But how actually these fibers obtained from plants, animals and chemicals are converted into yarns? The answer is spinning. The process of making yarn from fibers is called as spinning. In this process, mass of cotton wool are drawn out and twisted. What is spinning? The process of making yarn from fibers is called spinning. Spinning is done manually with charka or takli on smaller scale, whereas machines are used for spinning yarn on large scale. Yarns are converted into fabric. Weaving and knitting are used for conversion of yarns to fabrics. Weaving. What do you mean by weaving? The process of arranging two sets of yarns together perpendicular to each other to make fabric is called weaving. Weaving of fabric is done on looms. The looms are either hand operated or machine operated. Do you know anything about knitting? In knitting, single yarn is used to make a piece of fabric, unlike weaving where two sets of yarn are required. Knitting is done by hand and also on machine. Here is a chart which summarizes the entire chapter. The fibers are obtained from plants, animals and chemicals. After spinning, the fibers are converted into yarns. Yarns are converted into fabric by weaving and knitting. Ultimately, fabrics are converted into cloths by stitching. I hope you all understood the lesson. 
Here is a worksheet about this lesson. First question, state whether the following statements are true or false. If false, correct them. Silk is a plant fiber. Jute is obtained from the leaves of a plant. Weaving is a process of arranging two sets of yarn together. Question number 2. Fill in the blanks to complete the life story of cotton fiber. My parents' cotton plants were grown in dash soil and dash climate. The plants bore fruits called dash. I, the cotton fiber, was separated from seeds in the cotton balls by the process of dash. Other cotton fibers and myself were made into yarn by the process of dash. Thank you.